today I thought that we would do fall sugar cookies. We normally do Christmas cookies, but since Christmas comes all kinds of crafts that we could do, I hated to waste it. So this is something that kids can do with their parents and form wonderful memories. So the first thing we're gonna do is unsalted butter. When it calls for half a cup, no measuring is needed. This is half a cup, one stick of butter. So we're gonna put that in the bowl. So we're gonna do the butter and it's important to do things in order guys. And then one cup of sugar. These two things need to be creamed together before we add anything else. So we're gonna cream that really good. Okay, so this is basically the texture you want. It goes a lot smoother if you leave your butter out on the counter for a little while so it gets more room temperature. So the next thing we're gonna add is one egg. important step is that you have to realize baking is chemistry. So the reason directions say mix certain things when you do, that is important. So what we're going to do is we're going to take two cups of flour, which I've already measured out, and we're going to add our baking powder and our salt to it. It calls for half a teaspoon of salt. Level it off. Make sure we don't heap it. I'm going to put that right there in my flour, okay? Two teaspoons of baking powder. Now, this is so important. We are going to mix these items thoroughly in the flour. Guess what? Learned a really important lesson. At 13, I thought I'd bake my mom a birthday cake from scratch. I put each item in separately. I did not stir it into my flour and the baking powder laid on the bottom of the cake so you get this bite and it was like oh it was so disgusting you want to do like maybe half of it and let's go ahead and blend that first before we add any more and add some more kind of looks like wet sand right now half a teaspoon of vanilla and half a teaspoon of vanilla Dump that in. We got. Okay, this recipe wants us to divide this into two balls of dough. And then you are going to refrigerate those two balls of dough in like the sandwich bags for one hour. Okay, now it's time to make some royal icing that we're going to color and put in piping bags. What I like to use is Wilton's Meringue Powder. There is a recipe on the side of the container, but I'll also put it in the links down below. So, you so this is what I'm talking about when it forms peaks. Uh, had a horrible incident. My stinking mixer burnt up, started smoking. Thank God we don't have smell o vision in here because it stinks. So I had to get this doodad out, which I haven't used in forever. So, anyways, it's time to color it and put it in bags. Okay, so I made some orange frosting, and being that we're doing fall cookies, we thought we needed brown. I was not about to go spend money to get a brown. Besides, I looked, they didn't have any. So, we think orange and green will make brown. So, we're about to find out if it works. I don't know how much to add. My arm's going to fall off. This is gonna be our brown. So how you wanna do your bags, you can buy Wilton bags at Walmart, Hobby Lobby, whatever. So you, you take this bag and you're going to cut the end like so. And then what you wanna do is you want to take one of these, I think they're a coupler, and you have to put that in first because that has the grooves. And then you're gonna find a tip. I'm hoping the frosting's not too thick. So you're gonna place your tip, screw this over the top. 
in order to fill your bag without making a big mess, you want to fold it down like so, open it up, and then you're just going to get a huge glob on your spoon. And you're going to put it in side and use your fingers to pull out your spoon. Fold that back up. Give it a little shake and grab it together and then squeeze it down. Okay guys, I've prepared my surface by taping down some parchment paper. I sprinkled some flour, got that dough out. I'm going to take a little flour and I'm going to wipe my rolling pin. So I'm heating the oven to 375 so it's ready when we're ready. Okay, so with these presses, you're going to push the cookie cutter into the dough and then you'll press to give the picture. And then you have to press it to get it out. Oh, well, I forgot to do that. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's gorgeous. Mom, it did it wrong. That's so pretty. Pattern. Okay, that's good. Next time, press harder. Okay. Look at you with this flower. Oh, that! I pressed oh, that one. Oh, that's nice. I pressed that one. When you take them out, you want them to be very soft still because cookies, once they cool or they rest, are going to get harder. So if you want a nice chewy cookie instead of cracker. So. Everybody is working on their bicep muscles because this frosting <laughs> is so hard to get out of the bags. I guess I should have added more warm water. Oh crap. I can't. Ugh. Give it all you got, girl. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh man. We're going to look like Popeye when we're done. What is this? Take a closer look. Hey! Yeah, girl. Pipe that pumpkin. Pumpkin piper. I thought mine was cool. How many pumpkins can you pipe? Hmm. Only two so far. This one right on my right. Oh. <laughs> Harmony pooped the acorn. <laughs> Good lord! That is way too much frosting on one cookie. <laughs> What a great job you've done. Thank you. Look at that. So, I was thinking y'all should taste one and see how they taste. I'll taste them all. Delicious. Guys, I hope you liked our video. So if you did, smash that like button, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications so you can get notified for the next time we upload a video.